Hey everyone, okay. So, Beauty Blender fail. Now, kind of not a fail because the Beauty Blender itself is an incredible product. One that I've spoken about since I started YouTube. But this one is quite peculiar. Let me introduce you to the new Beauty Blender. It is called Wet Me. Now, this is mine. I purchased them all by myself. Didn't get sent one. Mine, mine, mine. And as you can see, it's got Wet Me written on it. Now, Beauty Blender obviously needed to remind you, the customer, that the Beauty Blender works best when wet because I think a lot of people just didn't understand that. Anywho, so what happens is you wet this and this is just freshly wet and it turns this gorgeous kind of lilac color, I guess. But apparently, and this is the fun bit, apparently it doesn't start off that color. It starts off a different color. And when you wet it, you then know that it's the right color. Now, according to the website, which really doesn't make sense, or at least this blurb, it says, Add a dash of water, pause to admire the lilac to powder blue transition. Well, that's not powder blue. So we're going to assume that it should start powder blue, which it does, but it doesn't. So watch this. Now, this is really weird. Here's one that is completely bone dry, just out of the packet. And here it is wet. Now, they are almost identical, but this is the weird thing. Now, if I hold this in my hand, and this is the completely dry one, completely dry, it does turn blue. But given 60 seconds, it turns back to the same color as the damp one. Now, that doesn't make any sense to me because it's already the color that it was supposed to have gone when wet. See, look, it's now basically the same color. But if I hold it, oh, it's now blue. Magic, right? But shouldn't it be this color permanently to remind us that we need to wet it? But when you put it down and leave it for 10, 20, 30 seconds, whatever, it's, <laughs> there we go, is suddenly, magically, almost identical as the color it should be wet. Now, I don't understand what the purpose was of this, unless I'm missing some kinky significance. And if I am, you can let me know in the comment section below. But as far as I'm concerned, they're the same color, unless I really hold it tight. And I kind of shouldn't have to do that, really, should I? Very peculiar. Let me know what your thoughts are. But generally speaking, the Beauty Blender is an incredible product. And what most people don't understand or don't realize is the reason the Beauty Blender works so beautifully is because it removes product. When the product is damp and you are patting away to your heart's content, you're actually removing product. You are shearing product out. That's why it looks so beautiful and blends so well, because you're actually taking away product. Now you can do that with any sponge you want, just dampen it and you will automatically shear down any formula. And that's why the Beauty Blender works so incredibly well. Actually, let's hold this one in my hand. See the water coming out there? It really is wet. See if it turns, no, it's still that color. But if I magically do this, but it goes blue, ta-da! But then it just fades back, making me wonder, well, what was the actual point? I don't know, but you can let me know right down there. Now, if you don't have a beauty blender and you like the color of this one, you should definitely check it out and I'll put a link in the description bar below, but I'm pleased I have it, very pleased. I just spat, but I'm very pleased I have it because it's a cracking product. But does it really work? No, it's exactly the same color, really. Apart from the end, which is now blue. See you next time, bye-bye. Okay, so this is an update. So as I was uploading the video, I decided to go onto the Beauty Blender website and that had different instructions to the website that I bought it from, which said that you should put the um, Beauty Blender, run it under hot water, and that turns it from a lilac to a blue. So here it is, this is the blue. And this is the non one. So it is a different color, but it still doesn't really work because as you know, all you have to do is hold this in your hand, the dry one, and it turns blue. <laughs> and this one that's just been wet with really hot water is already turning back to the lilac one. So it still doesn't really work, even though the instructions are definitely more correct on the, um, on the website for Beauty Blender, it still doesn't really work in terms of, it does change color, but it just seems a bit pointless and a bit, still a great product though, and I'm really pleased with it, and I think it's a lovely sponge, but 
still doesn't really work. There you go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.